Good morning, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer for Thursday, June 4th. We are continuing out of the New Zealand Book of Prayer using their midday service, but transferring it over into the morning. And there should be a PDF that you are able to access to print out or to read on your computer to follow along at home. Dear siblings, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 8. O Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You whose glory is chanted above the heavens out of the mouths of infants and children. You have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your finger, the moon and the stars that you have set in their courses, what are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you have made them a little less divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Our reading for this morning comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 8 through 12. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony that our Lord or me, his prisoner, but join in me in suffering for the gospel relying on the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher, And for this reason, I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day when I, what I have entrusted to him. Our song for this morning is Come Holy Spirit, and we will sing it through twice. Come Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, breathe upon us. Come, Lord, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Breathe upon us. Come, Lord, come. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our prayer we will be using is the one labeled one, which is on page 161. O God of many names, lover of all peoples, we pray for peace in our hearts and homes, in our nations and our world, the peace of your will, the peace of our need. Dear Christ, our friend and guide, pioneer through the shadow of death, passing through darkness to make it light. Be our companion, that we may fear no evil, and bring us to life and glory. O God of peace and justice, of holiness and love, knit us together in mind and flesh, in feeling and in spirit, and make us one, ready for that great day, the fulfillment of all our hopes, and the glory of Jesus Christ. Keep us in the spirit of joy and simplicity and mercy. Bless us and those you have entrusted to us. 
in and through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Creator bless you and keep you. May the beloved companion face you and have mercy upon you. May the eternal Spirit's countenance be turned to you and give you peace. May the three in one bless you. Amen.